Hey man, I'm sitting here in my kitchen. Hold on, clean this off. Maybe that's better, maybe it's worse, I don't know. A little bit of sunlight going on. It's hot here, in case you've never been to Cyprus. Uh, thermometer was pegged, pegged past 60 Celsius yesterday in the sun, and then everyone always says, yeah, but we don't measure the temperature in the sun. Um, we measure it in the shade. Well, unless you're four feet tall, then you can stand under a lemon tree or an olive tree. There is no shade here. Uh, the only place where there is shade is inside the house. So it's uh, 30, 31 Celsius inside the house. I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit. Freedom units anymore. I'm looking at the programming that I wrote for you. My little dude's over here. Probably going to come over in a second. Looking at the program that I wrote for you, and I want to explain a couple of things. Cause I, it's really important that you understand uh, kind of what I'm seeing. And I know you know this. You're an educator. Uh, I want you to understand. That way you can give me better feedback. The more, the better the feedback you can give me, the better the job I can do, the better results we get. So uh, just going in what I've got here on paper for you. I'm going to try to transfer over to digital um, if that helps you more. But I do everything. I've already gone whiteboard. Now I'm on notes. Uh, and then I'll transfer that over to digital as well. Uh, day one box squats, 55% plus bands. Um, I really want to get you to where you're using something around some average bands. My goal with almost everyone is to get them with a pair of heavy bands on there. If you have a pair of heavy bands on there, we can go and we can add light bands on top of that for extra band tension. Uh, we can loosen the heavy bands. We can tighten the heavy bands. Uh, but we need you with a pair of average bands as quickly as possible. 55% of basically what you guess would be your one rep max. And that would be a one rep max in belt and wraps. Um, the main thing I'm looking for is the speed, how reactive you are off of that box, which means you have to stop on the box and explode up. Uh, seven sets of two 45 seconds rest in between. I've got 55%, which is normally a good weight. Say hi. Is normally a really, really good weight. Start slowing some people down. Um, but I don't know how fast and how slow you are. I'm afraid to push these. I would love to have you with 60, 65%, maybe even 70 because you are a raw squatter. Uh, but, but I can't quite do that till I've seen you do it. I want to make sure your technique is right. Or we're going to end up screwing you up in the process. So I got to make sure you are fast. And when I have an idea of what percentages you are fast, I can make adjustments. The little dude here is going everywhere. Um, Next week, possibly 60% or more. You need to see your speed here. Good mornings. Wide stance, hard arch, chest up. Uh, chest up really, really high. Super hard arch is what I need. Uh, sets of three. Any kind of tiny PR over last week. Five pounds. Um, an extra, your last set getting four reps. An extra set of one at the end is a PR. Some kind of PR uh, or just technically better will absolutely work. Um, if, uh, if you get too much weight on the bar and you realize that three is not going to be safe, do a single or a double and call it. You don't want to screw up on good mornings. Partial deadlifts. You can set these in the rack uh, or skip them if you're toast. I've been toast quite a bit from, uh, by the time I get to this point. And I need to see you doing these. Uh, we're slowly lowering the bar a little bit. I'm looking for your weakness and your strength. The part where you have speed and the part where you stall. And those are the two areas that we train. We train your good part and we train your bad part. And at the end of it, we end up with something awesome. Uh, so we're looking at somewhere where the, bottom, where the, bottom, of the bar, bottom of the bar is somewhere around 10 to 11 inches from the floor. So it's not raised very much. That's very loose. If it's higher, that's fine. 60% uh, of your one rep max plus some light bands is the goal. Two reps every minute on the minute by five rounds. If you go back to last week, we used uh, the same weight, one rep every minute on the minute by eight rounds. This week, we're going to get 10 reps in the same amount of time uh, by doing doubles. Less rounds, a little bit more reps should be comparable intensity-wise. If it is much more intense, if it's much more difficult, that's an indicator. That's something for us to think about. So we're looking at slightly more reps um less rounds and we're going to compare if you're better or worse at the reps all oh, there's a method to the madness uh reverse band bench once again we're putting blood into the muscles we're just getting some muscular work here uh, when i do reverse band bench it takes 185 on the bar in pounds to get the bar to stay in the j hooks uh, 135 will get the bar to pretty much touch the J-hooks, but won't get it to stay in. So you should have a good idea uh, roughly what your one rep max could be. Just a guesstimate. 
We're just doing reps here. We're gonna slowly build on this over time. No injuries. 60%, uh, two sets of 10, 70%, two sets of five, 80%, three sets of two. Still gonna be easy work, uh, but I want you to be making progress safely here. Uh, finish it off where you're gonna superset some face pulls, bands, whatever, four sets of 15 to 20 with band shrugs. I take a light band, hook it around the bottom of my power rack. I may even put some straps on there. And instead of shrugging up, I will shrug up and back. So instead of going up this way, I'm back a little bit. Helps the bench, uh, helps a lot of things. Finish off with abs to the taste that you like. Uh, if you feel like doing a ton of abs, do a bunch of abs from all directions. If you just want it, if you're dead uh, and you're tired, do two sets, reset your spine, and move on. Day two, front squats. Once again, we're just loosening everything up. We're still uh, working on your deadlift a little bit, your events a little bit. I don't want to kill you on these. So you feel free to base these off of a training max, which is something you can do without screwing your body up. 50%, two sets of two, 60% for a double, 70% for a double, 80% for a double. Still should be easy. If you feel great, 85% for a single, that's usually once I start putting some kind of loose knee wraps on. Um, and I always wear knee sleeves. Um, and I don't wrap my knees tight as well. If you need an idea on how you can wrap your knees not tight and get something out of it, let me know. Uh, after that, we're going to superset some face pulls and band rows, three sets of 10 or so, easy. All we're doing is priming that shoulder, that rotator cuff. Um, focus on the stretch on the rows. Focus on the contraction of if you're rowing down uh, on the face pulls. Focus on the contraction. Focus on the stretch. Get that entire shoulder area loose. Um, that's all we're doing there. Incline bench or incline log. If you can, uh, add some light bands, micro mini bands, mini bands, uh, monster mini bands, if you have that. It's not that hard to set up. Um, I have hooked some under a pair of 25 kilo bumper plates before and around the bar. That works. You can figure out something in your rack as well. Incline log is a great way to build absolutely everything without beating up your shoulders or elbows. Um, the goal here is roughly four sets with the bands on the bar, which we really need. We need somewhere between 28 and 34 reps here. Um, so that's roughly four sets of eight reps is what we're looking for on a day two. Band shrugs, again, play, have fun, think therapy work. Uh, you wanna feel a little bit of pump in your traps, uh, upper back and neck. Horizontal rows, anything back friendly. I like doing barbell rows with the plates elevated a good little bit. I don't know how that's going to work in your rack. I've got about six inches of rubber mats that I'll do mine from. That way I can do a like a pin lay row, uh, a hard row with uh, uh, straps, and I can kind of drop it from there. Um, helps me with sandbags, with stones, a little bit with deadlift, um, and actually a little bit on the bench press as well. A dumbbell roll will work, anything will work, but we need to uh, to work the back. 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, seven rounds. We do want an eighth round of 30 seconds work. That eighth round is gonna be a little bit harder, no, but uh, you're gonna know that you're almost done uh, when you're doing it. Abs, we're looking for two sets of full range of motion. The full range of motion, abs is very important. We're tying in your upper body with your lower body using the hip flexors. The use of the hip flexors is very important. That's how we build the deadlift, the squat, the bench press, and all of your strongman events. The hip flexors have to be tied in between the low body and the upper body. Two sets of crunches. I don't care what anybody says. Crunches release the lower back. Not a bad exercise. Day three, I know you're getting on an airplane, uh, and it's knowing you, you're going to get up and train. You say you're not leaving until 1700. You're probably going to get up and train and do something. It'll do you some good. So if you get up, a uh, rough idea based off some numbers that I remember from the top of my head, what I'm looking for is farmers. Uh, 175s, I want you to, you're going to basically pick it up three times. Pick it, drop it, pick it, drop it. On the third pick, run 50 feet. Uh, that's what we're looking for. If you feel good, do a second run. Other than that, I'd like to see you do two more picks with 175 to 200 pounds, if possible, and safe. Don't want you jacked up getting on the airplane. Uh, and then add some straps and a couple more picks and holds. 
just want you to get used to using some slightly heavier weights because I think we can turn this into some PRs on the moving farmer soon. Overhead press. I put down the ACDC method. Uh, I've done ACDC. I've done Jay-Z. Uh, and I've done the Sabbath method. Sabbath method is by far the hardest because Sabbath songs are by far longer than Jay-Z songs and ACDC songs. I choose ACDC because, well, all their songs are good. All their songs pretty much sound the same. And all their songs are around 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, so basically what you do is you get your axle, log, whatever set up. You go over and hit play. Uh, and as soon as that comes on, you start your set and you keep doing your set until the song is finished. Uh, I've got you at 60% for as many reps as you possibly can. Uh, strict press, clean and strict press. You don't have to clean every rep. Uh, if you're using 60%, you're probably gonna begin, you're probably gonna feel like you can knock out about 12 reps in that first set. I'm gonna encourage you to stop at about five or six uh, because we have to think we're gonna be pressing for a little more than three minutes. Uh, clean it, get a few reps, drop it. You're gonna learn to pace yourself. Next week, we'll probably do 70%. After that, we'll probably go 75. And then we're gonna go back to 60% and set a rep PR. Do the same at 70 and 75. And that's gonna set you up for some all-time overhead PRs on whatever implement that you're using. So have fun with this. Keep a fan on you uh, and something cold to drink. Luke, it's my guitar. Thank you for rocking. Uh, and at the very end of the training session, load anything. Have safe fun. Whatever you want to load, a sandbag, an atlas stone, um, anything that you enjoy loading. I would love to push you on these, but I don't want you having any kind of injury in the biceps. I don't want any kind of tendonitis, no flares, no nothing before you get on the airplane. I want you safe and healthy. So that's basically how I see this week. I'm trying to find a much better flow to your training uh, program. And I'm hoping me talking gives you a better idea on how I'm thinking about your program. Actually, for most people, it probably confuses them because I see uh, numbers and waves in my head and it's difficult to put them on paper and to describe them and for those to make sense. So I'm gonna send this to you. If you have questions, pop it back at me. Um, if not, get busy, have fun, and enjoy Macedonia. Catch you later, man.